everybody. So, so incredibly proud of all of you guys for making it through these three weeks. Um, as I noted in the earlier video as well as online, uh, these first three weeks are the first three weeks of a 12-week program that I coach. So while some of your goals might have just been to jumpstart your health and get feeling great, uh, for some of you, this is the beginning of a longer-term program. Um, and for those of you that want to continue working with me, definitely let me know and we can figure out ways to coach together uh, depending on your location um, till we get you to your goal. And that's really what my ultimate goal is. So for those of you that are looking to you know do more than just lose you know, five to seven pounds, obviously that's not going to happen in the first three weeks. One of the things that I'm trying to educate my clients on, because I'm on the same journey of learning about it, is really about gut health and about leaky gut and about metabolic syndrome and all these other health conditions that are now getting bigger news um, in the media because so many of us are being affected by it. I've had more and more clients over the years who get blood work done and find out they're sensitive to, you know, almost everything that they've been eating. And if that's not testament to the fact that the foods that we were eating growing up are not the same now, then I don't know what is. Um, so the key becomes how do you balance all of that? So if you need support with that, I'm definitely, I'm on that page because there's so many foods that I thought, you know, are healthy, maybe healthy for you, but aren't necessarily healthy for me. But one of the things that got me sort of um, on a good path was looking at sort of healing my gut health and looking at leaky gut in particular, which I know I noted um, a few days ago uh, with regards to autoimmune conditions. But here's the deal. Um, your GI health and your gut is paramount to your health. So most of us don't connect the dots enough to know that, you know, kind of recovering from illness or warding off disease or having healthier looking skin. So if you have acne, um, if you feel emotional, if you're crazy OCD, ADD, you know, reducing anxiety, depression, food cravings, um, joint pain and inflammation, all of these things can be attributed to your GI health. So some of the books that I'd recommended like Clean Gut by Dr. Younger, I really think that you will find great benefit from because you'll see the connection between your gut health and so many medical conditions that you think are nothing that maybe you're taking antacids or you're taking um, Advil or something, but can all be helped with your gut. So if some of these symptoms are cropping up, especially as you're sort of on the journey going forward, or if you find that your weight loss efforts have stalled and you're in a true plateau, that's sort of where you're going to want to look. You're going to want to look at your gut health. So some tips for that um, would be, well, one main thing is that I know we talk about removing grains and reducing gluten, but don't necessarily confuse the two. The gluten is the protein portion of the grain, but so many of us are trying to eat gluten-free, and then we're eating foods that are gluten-free but are high in sugar and have a whole lot of other ingredients that aren't necessarily great for us either, so you need to watch that. So while some grains are definitely harsher on our bodies, um, you know, wheat, rye, um, corn, there are some that people are less likely to be sensitive to, like barley and rice and kasha and millet, amaranth and quinoa, you hear a lot of people talking about. But just keep in mind that some grains that are gluten-free, like corn and uh, quinoa, um, still kind of um, imitate and mimic gluten in your body. So you might be thinking you're doing something good for your gut, but you're not necessarily. Um, so often for my clients, what we recommend is organic rice, like jasmine rice or something. So A, I know we hear a lot in the media about rice and arsenic and issues like that. So having something that's organic is key to sort of help eliminate that. But also, even though rice is higher on the glycemic index, I hope what you're getting a little bit out of this program is that we're not just looking at the index of a food, we're looking at the load of a meal and the impact that that meal has on the glycemic index. So if you're combining some organic rice with a lot of vegetables and a protein, the fiber that is in the vegetables is going to help blunt the rise of the sugar that's going to come and the, the spike that's going to come from the rice. Just having a bowl of rice, I'm not suggesting. But again, if you're balancing it with other foods that are lower on the glycemic index, it's going to lower the impact of the meal. So that would be a better choice. Um, everyone's GI tract is different, so you want to manage and journal it so that you can sort of see how you're doing. But adding fermented foods like kimchi and sour cream, uh, sauerkraut and kombucha and pickled ginger would be helpful. And then for some, there's definitely supplements that are going to make a difference. We have a great kit called the Digestive Health Kit, which I take daily, um, which includes digestive enzymes, um, aloe juice, and probiotics, and that's really impactful in helping clear your GI health. There's also something we have called the Complete Detox Kit, 
Um, that includes probiotics, um, curcumin, and um, hepatoclins, a liver cleanse, and that's another good thing. If you get find out that you're diagnosed with candida and leaky gut or things like that, that's a great kit to get to start with. Um, another great thing to get is L-glutamine, and that's something that you can order online, um, even going through the shop.com site um, and getting it from drugstore.com or some other places. But L-glutamine is an essential amino acid, um, and it acts, it's a very anti-inflammatory amino acid, and it helps to not only heal the gut, but create sort of a protective barrier on the cell walls so that toxic, toxic items can't continue to pass through your gut. So L-glutamine, it's a, kind of like a chalky-like powder that you're going to drink. may not be the favorite thing that you drink. Um, but it makes a big difference. Um, I'm going to post a link also that is like a, just a great article about leaky gut and some of the key foods and stuff. So again, this is all just part of the journey. So whereas your goals might be weight loss, a lot of times people are gaining weight and having a hard time losing weight, not just because they're eating healthy foods. Um, so I just want you to put all the pieces together. Something obviously we talked about earlier in the session was minimizing chicken, uh, which obviously is grain fed. So if you're trying to remove grains, having too much chicken is just like having grains. So having grass fed beef might be less inflammatory to you. So take a look at your own personal journey. I'm also going to post a gut cleansing protocol, which is something that you can follow ongoing. Um, it's not necessarily a detox. It's just how to eat to clean your gut. Um, so I'm going to post that and happy to answer any questions. Um, this group will stay up, so you can certainly continue to come back to it and look at the content that's here. And um, if you've had a great experience, I welcome any recommendations um, and any recommendations for people that take the program result in a discount in supplements for you. So I hope you will consider doing that and also writing a testimonial because uh, that's the best way for me to recommend and help other people. Take care. Bye.